Hello everybody, D23 Gaming here. Today's video is probably the most important guide on this channel. I'm going to teach you all how to place and rotate blocks using stay blocks as an example. Placing blocks in mine test is easy enough until you want to place some stairs or slabs. You suddenly realize you don't know what you are doing and can't seem to wrap your head around how one places a block in a specific orientation. And this can often lead Minecraft players into thinking that there is something wrong with this game, whereas in fact, they are so used to Minecraft's rules that they think that every other game similar to Minecraft is trying to directly copy the mechanics of placing blocks. I will show you how different Mindtest's block placing mechanics are compared to Minecraft. The first thing to know about Mindtest blocks, or nodes, is in order to place them facing in a certain direction, you have to stand in a specific quadrant relative to the block to get the block facing in the right direction. Here is an example of me placing the blocks right now. Pretty straightforward as compared to Minecraft. One thing you should know is that my test is all about standing in the right position relative to the block, not looking in the right direction like Minecraft. Be careful not to stand centered with the block above or below because your position will favor one quadrant without you even knowing it and then you place your block facing in the wrong direction. Make sure you always clearly stand off center in a quadrant relative to the stair. Once you can do that, then you can choose if you want the block to be upright or upside down, just like in Minecraft. In this case, you can build on the upper half of the block to make it face upside down, or build on the bottom half to make it face upright. But what if you wanted vertical slabs? Yes, there are vertical slabs in Mindtest. Or do you want to rotate the texture of any block of any kind? Introducing the screwdriver tool. You can craft this using an iron ingot and a stick. With this tool, you can left click on a block or right click to rotate any block in the desired orientation. The block cycles through a set of orientation until it restarts the cycle. Left clicking uses one axis, while right clicking uses the other axis. It takes some time to get used to this, but once you understand all of these rules, then building actually becomes much easier. What is nice about Mindtest is that whenever you break your scaffolding blocks, the block goes directly into your inventory, and you can start doing things that you usually can't do in Minecraft, such as not needing a temporary block for certain things, like placing this stair that it faces inwards, or bridging through the sky with the same two blocks every time. I hope this guide has taught you something and has cleared up some confusion on how you place blocks in Mindtest. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comment section, and I'll try to answer them. That's going to be it from me, everyone. Now you can definitely get crafting and get building now. This has been D23 Gaming, and I'll see you all later.